We are at Johnson's Crossing. So we just stopped in because we heard that they're known for their cinnamon buns and their scones. Gas was two dollars, two forty a liter, I think. So it's kind of a lot. That's the highest it's been. We're just gonna have some snacks and continue a road trip for today. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> some that raisins in there. Yeah. Holy shit! Look at those rocks. Just sitting outside of Baked Cafe and Bakery. We're downtown Whitehorse right now, so we just walked along the path uh, where the Yukon River is, and the rain just stopped, so we thought we'd sit outside on the patio and just get a coffee and uh, some baked goods. It's freaking my piece. <laughs> I literally had two bites of this full muffin. Well, I left it there for you. I know! But you're not eating it quick enough. Somehow I got sucked into the uh, outdoors camping store. Didn't buy any camping stuff, but it is long overdue to get rid of this All dirty right, thing. Yeah. You good? Yeah, new man. <laughs> Feeling fresh. This stinky old thing needs to go in the garbage. <laughs> Day, we finally decided on where we we're going to eat for this evening and we went to <laughs> Polarity Brewing in Whitehorse. We got these massive cans. Yeah, they're the king cans go. you get uh, it's the uh, like concerts and stuff and they're just they make the it sounds ridiculous but they make the can in the brewery. So what they do is they fill it straight from the tap so it's fresh but then they put it in this machine and then they spin it around and the top just kind of molds to the top of the can and then you have a king can of craft beer. Yeah, we were like, oh, like we were gonna go there earlier but they don't allow pets on their patio. So we decided that we were gonna order a takeout. So while we were waiting on our takeout, I was like, okay, let's go get some yeah. beers. So I wasn't expecting these honking things yeah. <laughs> yeah. to come out. So, and then yeah, and then we uh, ordered Boston pizza so we're gonna eat some oh, of that. Baby. So we got a Mediterranean pizza. Looks delicious. Oh, 
heavy breathing. Mm, insert heavy breathing. And then there's also salad in there, and then we have garlic bread and some sort of pasta. I can't remember what we got, but it's, I can't remember it's we have good. calories to ingest. So yeah. here we go. Getting ready for a nice cozy night. We're posted up at Walmart. The one and only Walmart. In White House. Yeah, switching it up from the superstore. <laughs> <laughs> so we went to um, Mile Canyon today. But yeah, we walked four hours or so along the lake. Mm -hmm. And then we uh, we were very hungry. So it was it was very hard finding a spot to eat that was dog friendly, that had a patio. So we just um, did take out from Boston Pizza. And it was actually phenomenal. It was what, 40 bucks, 45 bucks for a medium pizza, which I was like, that's, there's no way that's gonna be big enough, but it was. Whole Thing, tray of pasta. Whole tray of pasta and a whole Caesar salad. Yeah. For like 45 bucks, it was crazy. Yeah, we ate the salad and the pizza and then we're saving the pasta because we didn't really need it. Mm -hmm. And we were quite satisfied from just the pizza. So we sat by the park, ship, shipyard, shipwreck park yeah. or something. The and same park we got yeah. breakfast at this morning. Yeah. We've been craving <laughs> cereal for the past few days, so I'm definitely strolling into Walmart tomorrow morning to get some Cinnamon Toast Crunch, probably. What do you think? That sounds good. Sounds good. Okay. Good night. Bye. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. Four kilometers. Last night was probably our noisiest night, so we are getting out of Whitehorse for a couple days, probably. We are off to Kluwani National Park. Alana found a pretty good hike for us to do. I think it's Sheep Creek, Sheep Mountain, something like that. So I think we're just gonna go to Haynes Junction, see what camping's available, and explore the park a little bit. Squished. Well, we're just outside of Kluwani National Park. But yeah, we found this nice little spot. We went outside for five minutes and then got actually like bombarded by bugs. So we are just hanging out in the car, enjoying the views. And then we are gonna head back because we've been in the city for the last four, four days. And we loved Whitehorse, but it was time to move on and go camping again. So we got a campground. We are gonna make some, are we making burritos? We're making burritos tonight. We're gonna have a campfire and make some burritos tonight, I think. Sleeping good tonight. You're supposed to turn. What? Oh, <laughs> we're home. We get to take a bath in the morning. Wow, what a nice spot. That feels right. Cheers to being home for the night. Yum.
it actually kind of looks like the sun's going down, even though it won't actually go down till about 11 p.m. We haven't checked the time in hours, so we don't even really know what time it is. It's just light out. We just go to bed when we're tired. <laughs> What's up, dude? It's nice not to hear trucks and cars and the sounds of a city. Now we can sleep in peace. Yeah, this just feels right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Back to camping. Oh, I'm so happy. It's just nice to hear the nothing, the peace and quiet. Mm -hmm. All right. Good night. So pretty much for every hike that we've done so far on this trip, Diesel likes to take his poops within the first half a kilometer. So I'm stuck carrying it for however long the hike is today is about 10, 10 kilometers. So hopefully there's a garbage bin up here somewhere. Drinking it right from the bladder. Mm. Here, look, look, there you go. This is why I tell you to drink your water in, your, in the morning. You don't oh. listen. <laughs> He's found the water source. Yeah, I'm not gonna have any left. Oh my gosh. Make sure the baby's taken care of. Gotta do a little bushwhacking now for the next kilometer or so. We're heading to the ridge. Yeah, we're doing the last little bit along the ridge of Sheep Sheep Creek. Sheep Mountain, one of the two. We haven't seen any sheep though. Just a ton of berries, not too many people. Views are pretty much spectacular the whole way up and they just keep getting better the further you go. Once we get up on the ridge a little bit, the better view is on the other side. As you can tell, we're still getting our hiking legs primed. Doing a little better. Got a few hikes in under our belt now. Diesel's the trooper of the group though. What do you think, babe? All good. Over this little ridge and then up to this point right here. There is people up there, but they look minuscule. So I guess that means it's still a bit of a trek. These are soap berries. Actually, and they look really close. They have like some white speckles on them. But we've been reminded that it's berry season and these are the berries bears like to eat. And they're actually on every single trail <laughs> we're on. So lots of berries, but no bears. So we're doing great. So far. So far. Last little grunt to the top. Just gotta take this ridge trail leads us right up to that point.
at so many false summits thinking you're at the top like just over this hump is gonna be it but it's not yeah so so we're gonna we're gonna do it it's uh yeah I just there's been many many points where we're just like yeah I'm content let's let's just go back but then we're like no like we're we're <laughs> We're so close. I feel yeah. like we just we just have to do it, get it over with. It's already his his dinner time, so and we still have nine nine kilometers back down the hill. Nine hours of daylight still. <laughs> yeah, we won't we won't get caught by the dark, so that's the plus side. But we have a cider left, so one alcoholic beverage, about one water bottle in Alana's bladder. So we're nine kilometers in so far. Yeah, I ran out of water, so. <laughs> but we'll survive. What do you think, dude? <laughs> Listen, we got a little bit more to go. And then we're gonna go to the top, take a little picture, a little break, a little snack. And then we're gonna go all the way down. <laughs> okay. What do you think, dude? You got this? I think you got this. It's the climb. This is it. Final stretch. Kiwani Lake. Way down there is where we parked. Bricker Cider has come all the way from Ontario with us and we felt like this was a very fitting spot to finally crack it. My friend Ola, who's involved with Brickers, she sent this to us and we've been taking pictures along the way with it and like Kyle mentioned we were kind of waiting for somewhere to open it yeah. and this, the uh, company's actually in um, at the Sunshine Coast in British Columbia, so we'll hopefully make a stop there one day. Well, it was a wonderful hike up to the top, but now we start our descent. Hopefully, the uh, the hike down will be much quicker. <laughs> nine kilometers to the top just means you gotta go nine, nine kilometers down. back to the parking lot. Here we go. The views up here are just absolutely insane, though. There's just a 360 vision of mountains. You can see Kluwani Lake from here. Everywhere you look, it's just incredible. We climbed right up there. Boop. For the last about two, three kilometers, we've just been talking about all the food we're gonna eat once we get back to the car. Thankfully, we stocked up before we came out this way. Seven hours, 48 minutes, 18.44 kilometers. We found ourselves a campground for the night. Kong, Kong Don Creek Campground, just a little further north of Kluwani. So we're gonna post up here. We're super tired. That hike beat the hell out of us. I think 18, 18 and a half kilometers round trip. So yeah, we're just gonna stuff our faces a little more. We uh, ate the rest of our pasta salad and started throwing hummus on English muffins that weren't even toasted because we were so hungry. We only brought like granola bars and a couple snacks here and there for, for the actual hike, but we're just gonna eat a little more, have a little fire, and then <laughs> probably go to bed. And it's gonna be this light out for the next, what, four hours, five hours still? But yeah, it feels great to be just in a campground 
Diesel's already sleeping. He fell asleep pretty much as soon as we got him in the car after the hike. So he had a good time too. It just seemed like that descent down the down the mountain it seemed to go on forever, but we had a blast. You can't thank Anna. Morning. It's 11.30. Good morning slash afternoon. <laughs> We're just packed up, made some breakfast and coffee. It's a rainy day here, so mm. we are gonna start heading back towards Hangs Junction. I don't think we're gonna get up to too much today. I feel like we didn't eat enough before we went to bed last night and I'm just a bottomless pit. I could just keep eating right now. So we're gonna hit the road. See you in a bit. Let's go to the bathroom and everything. All right, we're fresh, we're clean, we're ready to go. We spent the last few days at Kluwani National Park. We loved it. We are back in Whitehorse now. We're doing a quick re-up of our groceries. We finished showering. We got a workout in this morning. We spent another wonderful, loud evening at our favorite spot to sleep in Whitehorse, which is the Superstore. So <laughs> we are ready to go. Our next adventure consists of us heading north again. We're gonna go up to Dawson City, where we really get to experience what we think Yukon has to offer. We're super excited. It's about a five and a half hour trip from where we are now. We've officially been on the road for a month as of yesterday. We love documenting our lives in this trip um, that we've been on so far this summer. We're having a blast and we can't wait to get up to more adventures and show you guys. All right, see you next time. Five hours later, and we're making charcuterie. And we're still in Whitehorse. <laughs> we love it here. We're actually at the Superstore parking lot again. We're still in the Superstore parking lot. Thanks. Ready to hit the road? I thought it's you were okay. going to stop it there. It's okay. The one mark, one bleb. <laughs> I'm going to get it. Murma, <laughs> tell just stop. <laughs> Last take. This is the one. Um, just turn it off. It's fine. Blah, blah, blah. No one cares. <laughs> <laughs> this morning, it's really peaceful here this morning. Love the sound of nature. It's just so peaceful and just, just the sound of the birds and... That's it. That's it.